Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the Lab Coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 71 of our Pokemon Sapphire playthrough. In the last episode, the main focus of what we were doing was trying to capture the first of the three Reggie brothers here in the Hoenn region, Reggie Rock, and spoilers for what happened, but we did not quite make the capture, but I didn't go in with the proper strategy, you know? I, wouldn't, I didn't really plan ahead carefully enough. I have done a lot of thinking since last weekend. I am now prepared, I believe, to prepare for the capture of the next one is Reggie Ice, I think, in Pokedex number order. So what we're going to do, we're not going to do a team recap for the time being. The first thing I have to do is grab a couple Pokemon from the PC and change the layout. Now, just a little bit of heads up, although you already are well aware of this, this video might not be up in time for the usual update on Saturdays. It might be a little bit later than that, but as I say, you know that already based on when you're watching this. Me, I don't know just yet. It depends on how long it takes to get the editing complete and such. So we're going to switch some Pokemon around. We're going to bring Critter and... Well, I just grabbed Pinky, of course. Critter, Pinky, and Squeak are going to be part of my main intended capture team for the Reggie... No, I guess not Reggie Trio. Reggie Duo that is remaining. So who can we switch out? Don't need Sheldon, I don't think, for the time being. We'll switch you out. The first thing I need to do is get a Heart Scale, because I want to teach a Pokemon a move that it can learn from previous times, but we don't have a Heart Scale yet, at least I don't think. Wait, do I have any in the PC that could speed things up? I think I've found some before. Show me a heart scale. Show me a heart scale. Yes, we do have heart scales. Okay, I was going to have to spend a lot of time getting random encounters with love discs, which are pretty rare. But fortunately, we do not need that now. Because... Actually, I can switch a Pokemon back into the PC now. Because I do have three heart scales available. Now, at some point off camera, I might want to go ahead and do some heart scale grinding up to have some, you know, be able to teach some old moves to my Pokemon. Let's go with Sheldon for nice defensiveness. We can get rid of Critter now, because I have another idea in mind for how to deal with... Actually, wait. I remember I need Articuno with me as well. Now we can switch you out for Bla or Sheldon the Blastoise. All right, bear with me. I'm kind of going over the strategy in my head. The idea I have is I'm going to use my Skill Swap TM and teach it to Pinky because I want to take away the clear body ability of Reggie Ice as our next target. Skill Swap is right here. I want to get rid of the ability of the Reggie Ice, and only Pinky can learn this in the team right here. So we're going to take that away. My next step is going to Heart Scale Yawn back onto Pinky, so he can yawn things to sleep. And I can switch into Articuno and start using Mud Slap to lower the accuracy. At that point, I can then bring Squeak in if necessary and use Super Fang to very carefully whittle down the HP of the intended target. So we're going to replace Water Gun for Skill Swap. We can give Surf to Pinky later on if we need to. Surf, Dive... Waterfall if we need to, whatever we want to teach him. Waterfall's not the most impressive move, of course. And I just realized, you know what? Pinky's only level 37 going up against these Reggie brothers. But I think he'll be okay. He has really good defenses. All right, let's fly off to Fall Arbor Town and teach Pinky Yawn. I guess I could replace Psychic. We don't intend to use Pinky for damage, of course. I'll replace Psychic for the time being. I can always heart scale that back on as well. I'm pretty sure he can learn Psychic. So Move Tutor learns every move a Pokemon can learn and can teach them. Not quite as good as the Move Relearner in Gen 7, who can teach moves to Pokemon that they would normally learn at, say, level 50, and they're only level 1. That's really cool. I found that out. I have a level 1 female Rowlet that I intend to do some breeding with eventually. And I went to the Move Relearner, and she could teach it any move it could possibly learn as a Rowlet, which is pretty nice. If I teach it four later moves, I can then breed with another, like, say, a male Rowlet with four later moves, and the babies will hatch with all those moves immediately known from birth. That is pretty nice. So we're going to replace Psychic. And as I said in a comment on one of my videos, talking to, I think, Robert Gosling was mentioning this, the idea is I want to try to get access to the, what would you call it, like, say, the potential judge, basically at the battle tree in Pokemon Moon, just to sort of see what the possible IVs are for my Pokemon. So we're going to lead Pinky. I should probably give you leftovers. Did I take that? I think Sheldon still has that. Bear with me. Actually, let me just check my bag, see if I have it. I don't think I do. I think Sheldon is holding the leftovers. I just want to be able to make sure Pinky is healed up every single turn, if possible. Let's see if I'm wasting any more time possible. And this is kind of part of the reason why I'm not sure. Am I going to have this edited in time? I don't know. No, he's got Shell Bell. Do we even have leftovers on anybody? Maybe we don't. 
Let me just double check to be sure. Never melt ice on Fluffy. Maybe we didn't even get leftovers yet. I don't see any items here. We took all those items. We got Silk Scarf on. Nope. I guess I don't have leftovers, unless it's in the PC, but I doubt it. Let me just take a quick look here. Item storage, withdraw. Nope. Alright then, we'll stick with potions if necessary. With all that wasted time out of the way, we're now heading off to the closest location, I think, is... Is it... Down here, where's this town again? Petalburg City. I think that's the quote, uh, quote, quote, closest place. It's the closest place to go, everybody. Closest place to go to be able to make our way to the, I guess what you call it, the Water Root Cave, where Reggie Ice is residing. Of course, we have unlocked all three of the Reggie Brothers caves. We get random encounters, of course, along the way, but I can run from them unless they're shiny, and I'll catch them. Speaking of shiny and possibilities and such. I did upload, just recently, as of the time of me recording this, an episode of Pokemon Go that I haven't recorded in the longest time. It's been six months, maybe even more, since I last uploaded a Pokemon Go video. But for those of you that are not aware, Gen 2 has appeared in Pokemon Go finally. The wait is over. The Gen 2 Pokemon have appeared. I don't know if every single one is there yet. I'm assuming, of course, Legendaries are not in Pokemon Go just yet. But you never know. Oh, come on, really? Don't make me psychic you, which I can't do because we already used our, or we replaced it with something different. Goodbye, Tentacruel. But yeah, the Gen 2 Pokemon are here. I've uploaded a video, my initial encounters in Pokemon Go. And part of the reason, as I said in that video, that I haven't been uploading Pokemon Go is because I just really don't like the audio quality that I have for it. The, I'm just using like a phone camera to record the audio. And you can tell, you know, you hear all the background of, like, the wind blowing around and stuff. I don't think I fought these trainers here. I'm going to skip past them for the time being. Our focus is to go for the Reggie Ice Legendary itself. And maybe we'll deal with you on the way back. But, yeah, I don't really like the audio quality that I had to work with. So, that's part of the reason why I haven't been doing any Pokemon Go videos. What I want to get is a little, like, a personal MP3 recorder or something, and a little personal microphone I can clip onto my collar, which I would assume, I would hope, would give me better audio quality. I really don't know. And I just remembered, I gotta figure out how to get through this section. Hang on. Back to the old OK Google and get my Braille translation up. OK Google, Braille alphabet. Here are some magic pictures. Thank you very much. All right, bear with me here, folks. So what is that letter? The first letter is S, hmm. Your next letter there is going to be S T O P. Okay, stop. Oh, where's that letter? It's one single dot. Oh, it's A. Okay, <laughs> stop. A and D. Stop and. I really like this kind of stuff. This is cave exploration and ancient hieroglyphic sort of thing. Stop and W A is that I? Stop and wait. That's a period down there. Yes, it is. So stop and wait. W A. That's I, isn't it? Yeah. Stop and wait. Wait. Stop and wait. What is this? Wait. F O R, I think that is. Yeah, wait for T T I. Is that M? Yeah. Wait for time to P A S. Wait for time to pass. Can I really not do this until time goes by in the actual game? Uh oh. Okay, where is this letter at? T. Is that H? No. Thank you, Google. <laughs> what the heck was that? Alright, alright. 
Here we are with Reggie Steel. I thought this was Reggie Ice. No, this is Reggie Ice, isn't it? It looks gray here, but it's probably going to be nice and icy. Yeah, Reggie Steel has a different body shape. What am I thinking? That is Reggie Ice. What was that last word? I'll have to go back and check that out, but stop and wait. Wait for time to pass. The... All right. I messed up the last capture. I hope I bought Pokeballs. I think I did. Let's see if my strategy works. Now, if I'm correct, this thing probably has Ice Beam, Super Power, Ancient Power, and Curse. Based off of what we saw with the uh, Reggie Rocks. We're going to Yawn first of all. It's got Icy Wind, not even Ice Beam. You're going to slow down my slow, bro? With no damage? So we're going to Yawn you to sleep. We're then going to take away your clear body. Be able to start weakening you with the Mud Slaps, or at least lowering your accuracy. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm concerned that Super Power could really hurt Squeak if he has to come in and go for the uh, Super Fangs. Alright, so your attack and defense goes down. Nice. We're going to take away your clear body. And then we can bring Articuno in and start going for the Mud Slaps to lower the accuracy. Plus, with the accuracy, not the accuracy, the defense going down, Articuno could get some pretty decent damage off as well. So, isn't it cool using one Ice Legendary to try to capture another Ice Legendary? Another reason I want to have Pinky here with Yawn is because if we can lower the amount of PP Reggie Ice uses, it's going to stretch out our chance to capture it. Alright, let's start with those Mud Slaps. How much is this going to do? Can't do too much damage. Nah, I didn't think so. So, we're going to get minus one. We're going to try to get you to as low accuracy as possible before switching back into somebody else. I'd like to get you to minus six, of course. That's the lowest you can get. Then go back to Pinky, Yawn you back to sleep. And depending on how much damage Reggie Ice has taken, I can then switch into Squeak and go for Super Fang. These Mud Slaps are going to get you down into the yellow, I'm going to say. Nice! Max turns to sleep, I think that is. Or if not, it's at least a decent number of turns. Alright, I think we have a much better chance of catching this one than we did with Reggie Rock. And your Curse. That does offset the downside to the Super Power, but it does lower your speed, too, though. So you're at minus five. One more brings you down all the way, and then Pinky can yawn you back to sleep, and I can try switching into Squeak. Look at that, missing already, excellent. Is Super Power fully accurate? I think it is. I'm tempted to weaken you even more with more Mud Slaps. But that is not the strategy we're going for. We are going to, well now your attack is up. I'm concerned for Squeak's safety. <sighs> but let's do this, all right. Pinky coming in, yawn you back to sleep. I'm going to wait a turn and then switch into Squeak. Look, they go Ancient Power on Articuno. I just realized that would have been pretty devastating. Although we are, you know, five levels above. Ten levels above, actually. We could get a light tap with the... Uh, what am I thinking here? The Tri-Attack. But I don't want to hit you with, like, a burn or anything like that. So let's take a chance. Switch into Squeak right now. He is seven levels above Reggie Ice. I'm just hoping the superpower doesn't come through and connect, which it's going to do. Minus six accuracy, everybody. But he lived it. All right. So attack and defense go down. Good job, Squeak, taking that hit. Even that was plus one attack, I'm pretty sure. Let's go for a Super Fang right now just to drop you down a little bit more. We have one turn while you do stay fast asleep. Alright, now to be safe, I'm going to heal Squeak. Let's go with a... Do we have Hyper Potion still? No, we got full restores, though. Get you back up to full. They can't land another super power attack, can they? You do stay asleep. Excellent. I'm going to use Squeak to get this thing down as low as possible, then switch back into Pinky. Alright, Super Fang. I want to wait till there's a tiny little red sliver of HP left. Good! Staying asleep again. Alright. I'm feeling more confident about this one. Now, although we didn't capture Regirock, and I uh, said in a comment, uh, a viewer named America, heck yeah, did say, like, you know, why wouldn't you save before going after a legendary? That's like, you know, rule number one with legendaries. I've said, you know, I've encountered so many legendaries in my time, and I've captured so many. I don't mind losing out on legendary here and there, because I prefer non-legendaries over the legendaries, because, you know, I, I've said this many times before, I'll probably say it many times again, the more challenge there is in victory, the more thrill there is in winning. So, using legendaries, sometimes you're kind of going to win no matter what. If 
to use a legendary against a non-legendary. But if I use non-legendaries, forget Articuno, against legendaries and manage to win, I feel so much more accomplished. So, losing it on legendaries is not the biggest deal for me. Now, we do have 31 Pokeballs remaining. And, as I've said in Pokemon Go, many episodes of Pokemon Sapphire, Pokemon Moon as well, I only use regular Pokeballs for my captures. How are you still landing those superpowers? Fortunately, we are resistant to you this time, though. Alright, we got 30 Pokeballs to go. We might be able to snag this Pokemon. It's at one tiny sliver of HP. It's sleeping. Come on, we have to catch this one. Ow, I just hit my desk. Not that painfully, though. I don't know why I said ow. It's weird. Sometimes I bump against something with no pain, and I'll say ow. Other times, I'll really, like, you know, smash my foot off of a dresser or something, and I'm just like, didn't hurt. I don't know why I say ow for the stuff that doesn't hurt. It's a weird kind of an instinct in my head that it should hurt. I should say ow, but I don't. The strategy works, everybody. We can capture these legendaries. Yes! Reggie Ice added to the Pokedex. Reggie Ice, the iceberg Pokemon. Reggie Ice cloaks itself, cloaks itself with frigid air of negative 328 degrees Fahrenheit. Things will freeze solid just by going near this Pokemon. Its icy body is so cold it will not melt even if it is immersed in magma. Liquid hot magma. Hmm. Very cool. All right, we're not going to name you. We're going to send you to the PC, of course. So this leads into the sort of issue that America heck yeah had mentioned a few episodes back about if I don't capture all three Reggie brothers how can I go for Reggie Gigas in the next generation spoilers right so yeah technically I can't go for Reggie Gigas I did not capture Reggie Rock however what I might just go ahead and do is off camera in a second playthrough perhaps I might just go ahead and get Reggie Rock just to upload it for the sake of going for another legendary in gen 4 if you guys want to see me do that Basically, if you want to see me go for all the legendaries that are possible, I'm willing to do that. I'll go through in another playthrough. I've got some, like, save files that I can, you know, go into and go for Reggie Rock there. So, if you want to see that in the future, let me know. I'll let you, uh, or remind you, basically, of the possibility in the uh, episode of Pokemon Pearl, eventually, that we get into when it comes time for that. But, since we have time, that was actually a pretty fast capture. Let's see if we can go and get Reggie Steel as well. Trying to avoid these... Wait. What's this encounter? Well, there's another legendary. I was like, why is it the white background? That's only when something is over-leveled. Okay. Now, I do have this. I do have this. But, just because I expect it's going to escape... Let me just try tossing... I'm going to try tossing a Pokeball. I was going to go Ultra Ball, but no. If we do manage to catch this... It's going to be the red and white. It matches the color scheme so well. Now that I've seen Latios, I can track it in the wild. It broke out? What? So, leave a comment down below. Do you want me to go after Latios as well? Because I was kind of concerned. I didn't want to waste too much time having to track it down and looking for it. But now that it's presented itself to us, it's already in our Pokedex. We can track it back down again. All right. Now, we're going to head up here to Reggie Steele's chamber. I wonder... I still have the Braille thing open, don't I? This, I gotta use cut, I believe. Wow, that's a lot of text. Alright. Um, bear with me here. This is gonna take probably the last of the episode to re uh, decode all this. W A. No. W I. T? Yeah, W I T H, I think that is. So, with. Um. N. E W? Okay, with new T I M what's this with new time? Yeah, with new time, comma. What does that mean with new time? Uh H I'm trying to see other letters that I've already used to see if I can quickly decode this. With new time, H O P E. With new time, hope, and I think that is yes. With new time, hope, and L I. No, that's not. Is that I? That's O V E. With new time, hope, and love, comma. What does that mean? 
What does this mean? A... I... M? With new time, hope, and love, aim... Two? Yeah, aim two. Aim to T... H... Aim to the... What? This is so crazy. Aim to the S... K, Y. Aim to the sky. I, N. Aim to the sky in the... I gotta use fly. Okay, aim to the sky in the... M, I, D, D, L, E. Aim to the sky in the middle. Alright. I believe that's what that says. This should be the exact center. Let's use fly, Blaze. Got it. Alright. Sweet. Now let's go for our final capture. Actually, you know what? Reggie Ice did have the same overworld sprite. I didn't even realize. Anyway. We made one capture. Let's go for the final Reggie Trio Brother Duo. Last one. Okay. Reggie Steel. Now the concern with this thing is it has Metal Claw, I'm pretty sure, which is super effective on Articuno. So, again, first trick is... Yawn, put it to sleep. It's also got the ancient power, but I don't think these things are very offensive because they're more on the defensive side. So, and this did that much damage to us at three levels lower. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna skill swap away, of course. Use those ancient powers now before Articuno has to come in. Now, what's nice about this, Reggie Steel is going to be weak to the mud slap, so we'll get a little bit extra damage off as it snoozes and loses accuracy with the mud slaps. So Articuno, come on in. It's got to spend at least one turn sleeping, fortunately. Yeah, the Ancient Power will hurt, double super effective. Metal Claw will be super effective as well, and Stab. Super Power will be able to handle, and then, of course, there's Curse, I'm pretty sure. Let's drop the accuracy down to minus six, or at least as low as we can get it before we get to switch Articuno out. And that's super effective damage, folks. That's about as much as we did to Reggie Ice. You're gonna wake up immediately. You're gonna miss, though. Nice. Metal Claw has a chance to boost your attack stat, too, doesn't it? That ain't gonna be good. We'll get 10 levels above you. you. Might be okay. Now your attack is going to go up, so that makes the Ancient Power and the Metal Claw a lot more scary. Feel free to go for a Super Power right now, though. Lower those stats back down. I'm okay with that. Alright, so we're going to do a tiny bit more damage as they lower the defense. Oh, they missed the Super Power. Curse! Not curse. Well, curse if you want. We're almost at minus 6. We're get down to minus 4. Another curse. Attack and defense are up by two. But your accuracy is going to be at minus five. Once we get this last mud or this next mud slap off, I didn't even heal the team, did I? Whoops. I guess we didn't take much damage, and we didn't use that much PP either. All right. So I really don't like how much your attack has gone up because that's really going to hurt Squeak with a superpower. Did we heal? We must have healed. What am I thinking? Yeah, we're at uh, full PP for mud slap. All right, minus six accuracy. Still not landing those superpowers. All right, let's go back into Pinky now. Go for the yawn tactic, of course, put it to sleep. I might, I don't know. I'm thinking of leaving Pinky in. No, that's not really gonna help us. Gonna go for some try attacks to slowly whittle it away, but that's not gonna really help us at all. You've also got Shadow Ball, though, and it resists that. But with your defenses at plus what, three now? Maybe even plus four? We're not going to do any damage to you. we got to go into uh, Squeak, go for the Super Fangs. So we're going to give you a chance to fall asleep first. Let's just throw a Pokeball just to burn out a turn while your drowsiness gets the better of you and put you into Dreamville. Dreamland, Dream World, whatever you want to call it. As I say, we could capture you just now, though, but of course that's not going to happen. And the Curse! you got to be at plus, at least plus four. But you do fall asleep. Squeak's time to shine. Let's pop on in, go for some Super Fangs. Oops. Don't want to fight, we want to bring a, Pokemon, blah, 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 a new Pokemon in. Let's go, Squeak. Hang in there, buddy. Please dodge those Super Powers, if possible. As we whittle you down with Super Fang. Now, that's not fully accurate either. I think it's 90% accurate, so we might miss one of them. Why do you wake up immediately? And you miss the Super Power. Good, I like that. It's probably risky leaving Squeak in. I probably shouldn't. Uh, I'm going to be safe. I'm going to go back into Pinky. 
I'm gonna yawn this thing back to sleep because it's also gonna stop it from using so much of its PP as well. Okay, and they do connect Metal Claw. We resist that though. Not very well. Huh. I'm gonna say I gotta heal. They should miss an attack. Super Potion do the trick, you think? Yeah, it'll do fine. It's up to 101. Not Dalmatians, but HP. And you missed the Ancient Power. Sweet, good stuff. Let's yawn you back to sleep again, Registeel. Would it be something if I can capture the remaining two Pokemon, remaining two Reggie Brothers, in one episode? I'd be okay with that. So let's just throw another ball to burn a turn here. we got 25 left after this. I think we're going to get this capture. I'm not really that worried. Not that particular capture, but this Pokemon capture. So back to sleep we go. I'm going to take probably two more Super Fangs to get you down to the tiny little red sliver. But Squeak is up to the task. He can do this. Just don't land any of your hits against him, and we'll be just hunky-dory, buddy. No need to steal away one of my Pokemon. All right, Super Fang. That gets you down quite low. Good, you stay asleep. I don't think one more will get you to that tiny little red sliver, but we'll find out right now. Well, of course that one's not going to. Of course you're going to wake up. Of course you're going to land your superpower or your metal claw. That's actually going to hurt too. Not terribly bad though. All right. Hmm. I got to do it safe again. I got to go back to Pinky. Yawn it back to sleep. I can't afford it to use all of its PP. Now I think metal claw has a decent amount of PP. So that shouldn't be a problem. I think Curse only has 10. Superpower, I believe, has 5. And Ancient Power has 5. So these things, although they didn't give it any way to heal, they gave it a lot of low PP attacks. Which means you got to get your captures fast on these Reggie Trios. Although you could. Is there... Is Trick and Switcheroo in this generation? I can't recall. But if, they're, if they did have those, you could, of course, always give it a Lepa Barrier to heal back some of its PP. I hear from my nephew, that's what some people do when shiny hunting in Pokemon Sun and Moon, doing the SOS battles, making sure the opponent will not run out of PP. Of course, me, I just tend to say, you know what, if the Pokemon would rather run out of PP than call in a shiny partner to help it out, let it knock itself out. I'll move to the next Pokemon. There's a huge, wide Pokedex out there for me to do my searching in. Alright, come on, land it. Squeak. Land it. Stop waking up! At least it didn't land a hit. That's as low as we're getting you. All right, we're going back into Pinky. We're going into the yawn strategy. Come on, we can do this. This thing must have still a decent amount of PP. Metal Claw, it's going to have at least 15. I'm going to say probably even 25. I could look it up, but I'm a little more focused on getting this yawn. Have they used all the superpowers, too? That could be a thing. Hopefully. Why are you still landing? All right, that's going to be a full restore there. I was going to say, if that was a critical, I'm going to be very, very unhappy about that because Pinky is our only way to put things to sleep here. Unfortunately, this is not the Articuno from Pokemon TCG, which can use, was it Chilling Psy, to put things to sleep without a coin flip. Alright, it is sleeping. It's at a tiny sliver of HP. We're using just standard, basic red and white Pokeballs, but we've proven with Reggie Ice the capture is possible. We can do it again. Stay in the ball. What do you think you are, Swinub? If you know what I'm talking about, you should watch the Pokemon Go video. If you don't mind hearing a bunch of the wind blowing into the, uh, the, the camera phone, microphone thing, I really want to get better audio quality for those. Why are you waking up so fast? You don't have Early Bird. We gave you, what is our ability? Oblivious, I think? Or Own Tempo? Whatever it is. Stop waking up. There's no need for this. Stay asleep. Stay in the ball. We can move on with our lives. Thanks for missing that Metal Claw. Well, let's just go ahead, poke the ball away. Even though it's not a slip, there's a slim chance we can get it. Very slim. At least you're not landing your hits. All right. But it looks like all they have left is the Metal Claw, so I really don't like the idea that they're going to run out of PP and knock themselves out. Let us make... If we can't get Reggie Rock, let us at least get the other two, just so we have less to do off-camera in order to access Reggie Gigas in Gen 4. Pokeball, let's do this. I'm not hitting up and B, by the way. 
That was a trick in the old Game Boy games. I remember reading about this. Back in the old Game Boy game, if you threw a Pokeball and you held up and B, or was it down and B, or maybe up and A, or down and up, or something, some weird combination, it made your Pokeball function as if it was a Master Ball. Now, from what I read though, apparently, you don't always make the button combination presses exactly right. So, if you did that, the Pokeball would still function as a regular Pokeball. Do you just believe that? I remember reading that thinking, if you do this button combination, it always works as a Master Ball, but it's really hard to get the timing accurate. You know what that tells me? That was an instance of somebody throwing a Pokeball, hitting random buttons, and that ball just happened to make the capture that they were looking for. There was no trick to making a Pokeball work as a Master Ball. Come on. Alright, it's going to be asleep for this one turn at least. I'm going to risk... Well, I'm not going to risk anything. I can full restore next turn. I want to try to get the capture while it's asleep. I don't know, I feel like being risky. Now, a critical Metal Claw will take Pinky down. A non-critical will not. I'm going to keep trying Pokeballs. If this thing wakes up, I'll full restore then. Stays asleep, alright. Or what I'll do, when, or if it wakes up and doesn't get captured, on the turn that it spends being drowsy before falling asleep, I'm going to have full restore Pinky then. As long as it doesn't land a Metal Claw in between. If Pinky goes into the red, I'm healing him. I don't care if I don't get this legendary Pokemon. I already caught Reggie Ice. One out of three isn't bad. It's not a passing grade, of course. But I'm not losing a Pokemon if I can help it to a legendary encounter like this. We're full restoring. And that wasn't even critical. I thought it was a critical right there. Pinky, let's do this. Back up to full. Now, remember, Reggie Steel, you are at minus six accuracy. Minus six accuracy. Remember that. Yawn. Take a nap and think about this. You know, dream about the accuracy that you wish you had, but you do not. Do not have. All right, that's full restore. Since this is going to be a turn spent while this thing is drowsy and thinking about falling asleep, just don't run out of metal claw PP. This would be really annoying. All right, take a nap. Stay in the ball. Yes, about this time I should be using something different, but I, I've i said this even back when I was catching Swine up in Pokemon Go. I have such a long tradition of using just regular Pokeballs. Any one Pokemon, I am not allowing the satisfaction of breaking my record. Unless, well, in Pokemon Moon I've been catching some things in other Pokeballs just that sort of fit their theme, sort of. Like I caught uh, the Shiny Spinner Rack in a Netball, which does actually have a better capture rate for bug types, but I just can't see any other ball fitting a spinner rack as well. Yeah, you're still sleeping. So I went with the net ball. For Tapu Lele, I went with the quick ball because it's all about preventing the opponent from being fast, so it's like a bit of a taunt in their face. I'm in a quick Pokeball. You're not a quick Pokemon, or at least you can't be against me, so just a little bit of a, uh, you know, making fun of it in a way. Although, okay, if I do run out of Pokeballs, I am willing to use a Premier Ball. It is the same catch rate. In fact, for that matter, I can use any other ball that doesn't have like a boosted catch rate against this thing, if I want to stick with my tradition of the added challenge. Alright, you're drowsy again. Still landing those minus six accuracy metal claws. Let's try... Let's try a premier ball right now, how about that? Watch this get the capture. Watch it not, though. All right, go to sleep, all right? Don't run out of PP and struggle yet. I don't think we have much more time to go for this capture, though. It's gotta be low on the PP right now. Come on, buddy. Join your buddy Reggie Ice. Why do you not like Reggie Ice? Isn't it your friend? Isn't it your brother? I call you the Reggie Brothers. You're just max I didn't get Reggie Rock, aren't you? Because you're super effective on Reggie Rock, but you're also super effective on Reggie Ice. That's interesting, yeah. This particular Reggie brother is the super effective one against the other two. And for that matter, Reggie Rock is super effective on Reggie Ice. Does that mean Reggie Ice is technically, I guess, the weakest of the three? Because it's beaten by the other two? I don't know. Anyway, it wakes up again. We're out of yawns after this, but I, I have PP restoring items. I should probably use one now, just in case. I should probably use a full restore, actually. 
Yeah, this is a fun time, isn't it? I love legendary Pokemon. They're the best. They're great. Why can't you be like Tapu Bulu? Watch, was it Thursday's episode of Pokemon Moon? Watch that one, folks. You'll see my legendary capturing capabilities at their utmost peak. That was a good time, I'll tell you. All right, Pokeball, come on. Do this. There's nothing more for me to talk about. I've talked about Pokemon Go, about how my audio quality is terrible for that, and I do the best that I can with trying to uh, minimize the background noise, but even times when I think I'm standing in a quiet spot with no wind, although I don't feel the wind on me, the phone microphone certainly picks it up quite well. At this point, I want it to knock itself out. I want to end this. If it's going to wake up this much and this quickly, I don't even want this thing. All right, so we can heal, restore, all PP. Oh, hang on. Do we have a regular ether? I don't think we do. No, okay. I have to burn my max ether. Watch it knock itself out right now, though. If it knocks itself out, I really don't care. Just be like Reggie Ice and stay. Just, why can't you be as cool as Reggie Ice? Let's go for a Premier Ball now. Anyway, why not? We'll use those. I guess it's the same capture rate, so I don't mind using these up while it's awake. Because if I can capture it in a regular Pokeball... I thought that had it! Aw, oh, man! That would have been so cool! Me rambling about Pokeballs and all that junk, and then if it stayed in that one... Alright, we've got five Pokeballs left. It's going to wake up. It can't wake up after one turn. That's not fair. It's woken up way too early thus far. And why does it not wobble while it's asleep? What is that nonsense? So it's got to have at least one more turn of sleep in order for things to balance out as far as fairness is concerned. It's woken up after one turn way too much already. And if you want to stay asleep one more turn, I'll appreciate that. we got three Pokeballs left. Come on, we came in here with 20-some. Uh, there are times when I don't mind legendary captures. There are times when I do. This is one of those times when I do. I'm way over time for the episode as it is. Why do you not even shake? <sighs> Knock yourself out. I don't even care. Just burn your PP out. Go for struggle. End this. Premier Ball, do it. Maybe. See, that makes sense that you don't shake there. When you're asleep, give me at least two wobbles, alright? If you can't do that, then knock yourself out. Last Pokeball. If I don't catch it in this, I might just even try attack it. I won't try attack it. I'll let it wake up and struggle itself unconscious before I do that. Alright, so we're on to the uh, last two Premier Balls that we have. Go! I wonder if they're ever going to introduce new Pokeballs in Pokemon Go. They've introduced the new Berries, which is kind of cool. But we still, as far as I know, only have Pokeball, Great Ball, and Ultra Ball. There's so many other balls they could introduce. In fact, yeah, Gen 2 introduced a lot of the uh, Kurt Pokeballs. They should put those in. Those are really cool. Alright, I had a Premier Balls. I could Timer Ball it. You know, that gives me a super good chance to catch it. Hmm. Let's try it. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not using a Pokeball. If this doesn't even wobble, though... Oh! I guess that can miss. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought Struggle was always going to hit. I know it hits ghost types, it's not like type effectiveness or anything like that, but it's going to knock itself out. Oh, it missed. Alright. We guess, I guess I still have a chance here. Let's fire off a... Yeah. Hmm. Let's go Ultra Ball. Why not? It's awake, it's not going to work. See, it's just building up my anticipation that I might still have a chance to catch it. I was going to say, but if it lands the struggle, it's going to knock itself out. But it actually missed and fell asleep. Alright. You know what? We already caught a Reggie brother. Pokeball works better on Pokemon that are caught before. Let's use it to catch another Reggie brother. That's gonna work, right? For the same kind of species. Doesn't work. Hmm. Huh. Well then. Let's 
let's go on to a dive ball. Why not? That's why not. I am not using the Master Ball, I'll tell you that. Now, is there any reason why it should not have been caught by now? No, no reason. Why does the capture rate have to be so impossible for some of these things? The Ultra Ball didn't even shake! Look at all the money I just wasted on this thing. Goodbye, Reggie Steel. You're not worthy of my collection. I'm out of here. And with that, we are done with this nonsense for the day. So, because this did go over time tomorrow, I'm going to do a shorter video for Pokemon Sapphire just to uh, sort of even out the timeline sort of thing. We're going to save it up right here. I'll go heal up in the next episode. What should I do in the next episode? Just leave me a comment down below because I think we're pretty much coming to the end of our time here in the Hoenn region of Pokemon Sapphire. Anyway, with all that, we are now done for the day. I want to say thanks for watching. Hopefully you're rooting me on for the capture for Reggie Ice, which is why we caught it. And hopefully you kept rooting me on for the capture of Reggie Steel. As you can see, even when I use other Pokeballs than regular ones, the game still decides you're not worthy of this capture. So whatever, I don't even care. But with all that, we're already done. Feel free to leave a like if you liked the episode and leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of it and what you want to see me do remainder here in the post-game of Pokemon Sapphire. And if you missed any episodes of Pokemon Sapphire so far, there is, of course, as always, a link in the description for the entire playlist. You can go and check that out and get caught up on all the fun adventures we've had along the way. Plus, there are some links to some other videos that I have done during the outro and a link to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. And I guess with all that, we are done. So come on back tomorrow for another episode of Pokemon Sapphire as we take care of some last little things in the game. But I think we're getting to the point we're going to move on to the next adventure in my historical journeys here in the Pokemon world. And with all that, we are done. I want to say once again, thanks for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time. But not Reggie.